good good afternoon and uh, uh, to all. I'm Dr. Akhtar Hussain. I'm the president of the Diabetes Federation. First of all, uh, let me thank Dr. Bansi, Dr. Shashank, and uh, Dr. Makkar, and all other friends. I can spend name of the names. And uh, it is uh, a great pleasure for me to meeting Diabetes India since Dr. Shaukat Sadigal. Actually, I have the privilege to attend all Diabetes India Congresses, and I thank everybody, particularly the organizing chair and the organizing committees for inviting. Unfortunately, I will not attend uh, in person, uh, which I wished I could do this due to my other engagements, but I hope that this will give me what I'm going to say about is the international federation and how what is the position of international and how we seem to go ahead. First of all, I would like to say that so we can start with the mission and that you, as you know, that in the past, uh, during uh, when I take over as president uh, in 2022, we have changed the mission, which has been adopted by the general. The vision of today is living in a world without diabetes. The was to diabetes care prevent worldwide. And the strategic objective is to prevent health outcomes for people with diabetes prevent the development of type 2 diabetes, and reduce stigma and discrimination. If this is our mission. But what are the challenges that I see that what is the challenges of idea? As you know that, that this, is the, this is from the idea of Atlas, the last idea of Atlas in 2015. It says that about one in 11 adults between the age of 20 to 79 years have diabetes. It amounts to about 403 million. And one in two diabetes are remain undiagnosed, the so-called uh, the unknown cases of diabetes. And most strikingly, that three in four people with diabetes actually live in low and middle. So this is, if you think of the global health expenditure, is 10% of the global health expenditure diabetes. And this is disproportionate the rich countries and the poor countries. And therefore, the countries that which need the most least. This is some kind of estimate and effects of global prevalence of diabetes 2020. As you say that it is increasing. And you can, of course, we can we'll have to think carefully that about having all our congresses with all our knowledge and why we are failing, why we stop diabetes. Let's let's try to look at some of the scenarios. See that on on my left hand side, we see that about about this about let's say that about ten million people global, and half of it actually is in Africa. That is about fifty million, uh, about about five million people would be done. So first of all, we are losing five million of these five million people that were diagnosed. Only half of them, that is two point five million. Will receive care, and again, this of this 2.5 that will receive care is about 50 percent will achieve treatment target, which will be about 1.5 million, and of this, about 50 percent will achieve the desired of coming up 75. So, if you see the our success rate is about six percent. So, this is this is what we are achieving at this stage, and we. The scientific community, the the political leadership, the 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 clinical community that we must come together and where we are failing. If you see this, for example, that why fifty percent came at it, this is a kind of policy failure from the government, and therefore it is important that include the policymakers in our. And then you see that of those who receive care, by fifty percent, fifty percent only. Are, um, have 50% receive care, 
This is the set of the healthcare system failure that only of those who are diagnosed because of many things. Because for example, is we don't most of the people living in the poor countries do not have the kind of universal health care system, and therefore they have to put the money, they pay the money out of their pocket. And then we have to see that, for example, of those who receive, why only to achieve treatment targets. So we see that we have a kind of we have a kind of policy failures, the healthcare system failure to treatment. So we will have to say as physicians that we must take the, some responsibility that why we are failing preventing or, or preventing complications of so, so this is this is the uh, situation. The next challenge is the insulin. That as you know that even even we found uh, it was not actually discovered but it was the first time that was actually used to treatment for 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 treating people with diabetes is about in 21 actually uh, and and then but if you say global level have who need insulin but if you look at sub-saharan africa this number was found only one in seven people who have it was kind of statistics from 2021 it's not Old study. As you know, that for example, the Robert De Lawrence, that actually he was the first president of international relations in 45. And he declared that now the modern discovery of the insulins have completely changed out. There is no reason why it should not, if it can be taught to do so, a long normal. Have we achieved it? And this is something that we foresee. As physicians, despite of all our all our glories and all the all the kind of big conference that we attend and all the big applications that, so what IDF is trying to do, we have to the lead, which will support of all international partners for universal access to insulin, and this resolution in we try to pursue it in May 2021 in during the world uh, the World Health Assembly. And uh, but this was not the way we wanted the universal access of insulin because more, many of unfortunately many rich countries blocked it because of their vested interest in selling insulin. So there was a kind of revised using the burden of non strengthening prevention and this was accepted. You can find this reaction uh, of, to the resolution and its adoption. The IDF new article website. So the car, the, the if you say the content to mark insulin that we have also have special issue for centenary of insulin in the DRCP special insulin on 100 stations during World Diabetes Congress that we had a kind of special insulin station in November 1221 the joint webinar with PAHO that we have uh, we have actually engaged. And insulin, and in 2022, we had a campaign called Insulin, if not now, when? So IDF is not sitting. And the other challenges that we see is a kind of is a kind of natural disasters. The disasters that are coming provide, and this is the disastrous time. And COVID was one of the that in during the COVID time, probably in India you haven't met, but in many parts of the world, there was a severe shortage of insulin because, because the transportation failed. And then what happens when the, for example, War in Ukraine, and then we have earthquakes, for example, Turkey and Syria, and also and also as tragic stories of the Gaza Strip. So this is something a big challenge that that man-made disasters or natural disaster commodity that IDF is is as a as an organization cannot watch and see that the people without insulin dying there. So so this is one of the challenges that we are continually working on this together with our partner uh, directly. And and um and my idea also see is that for example the strengthening a relationship with WHO. As you know that we have also created a global diet, which is first, I would say that on behalf of the IDF has worked a lot uh, the tirelessly actually to create this thing. And we also have this uh, 2021. We have a resolution on reducing the burden of it through prevention and control, as I just mentioned, and diabetes coverage targets, uh, that the IDF recommendation that 100 diagnosis young people 
dealing with diabetes type 1 diabetes was passed actually in the World Health Assembly in last year in 2020. Diabetes medications of essential medi uh, in the essential medical uh, AGL2 we have included in the essential list insulin pre-qualification program and while health workforce that it is very important that we have a health workforce developed through the IDF school program and this pro uh, this IDF school actually was found in 2017 by Dr. Shokat. He's the founder of this idea. The IDF school has made big pro progress. At the moment, we have about 9,000 healthcare professionals from all over the world who are actually taking the courses under this IDF school. And we also have this ATLAS, as you know, that ATLAS, this is very important. This is the most authoritative source of evidence in the impact of diabetes for healthcare professionals, academics, and progress and policymakers. Past production was made in 2000, and that ATLAS uh, is the Federation's flagship publication featuring the event form project uh, activity. The most cited book on diabetes in worldwide is 1,000 downloads per edition. So it's a, it's a huge success. Now at the moment, what we are doing, the idea is having a dialogue and we are continuously in dialogue with the WHO so that it should be, hopefully, that we need some bar barriers, but I hope that we'll be able to come up with the idea WHO Atlas in future. And this education that we said, we said that this education that this is a kind of CME accredited um, award, um, awarded. It's, uh, it's accredited by the European Union and accredited by the, um, the American Continuous Education uh, Forum. So at the moment, we say that in users, we have 7,500 plus countries. And actually, those who have completed in seven. But most of the people that were attending is actually from the developing world. And India is, is taking a part. And Dr. Shashank, he take a kind of special interest, and I know that Dr. Bansi was involved in this idea, who we shall very big. We also we also produce special issues event as you COVID COVID disproportionately affected the people with diabetes. So we wanted to make a special issue in our journal that is diabetes research and clinical practices and diabetes COVID nineteen and the idea perspective. That was followed by that we create we are trying to create them um, in. Uh, based on 100 years of experience with produced addition. At the moment, we are just producing another issue, management of diabetes. I can tell you with, with proud that when I took over as president-elect, and actually I got started working together with uh, the, in the diabetes research and clinical, the impact factor in 2015 was around. Now we have about 8.6, the impact factor. So we have to, we have to if these things, the science in the, the practical field of science, we cannot we cannot stay behind. So we have to think that what is the way forward? Okay, this is how. So we have to think that what is this is the vision and the mission that we said that this mission. Now we have actually adopted a new vision, and that is the access to affordable quality diabetes care. Because we saw that the vision to have a kind of world without diabetes. Is, is not achievable. So we have to see some vision that is achievable. So we have changed it to access to affordable quality diabetes care and education worldwide. And our mission is to slow the rise of diabetes, looking that producing, define the interest of people living with diabetes and improve the diabetes outcome. So this, this is our mission. So we cannot we cannot be a kind of world without diabetes. That's okay, how we can improve the care and its access the affordable care and quality of so that is that is what yeah, we are focusing at right? the future of the IDF school depends on three things that I think that we at the moment the program that we have is a global program and we need, must regionalize because the IDF has seven regions and the need um, of, of seven regions are very different compared to for example Africa sorry Africa to Europe the needs are very different but the health infrastructure is different so we must be able so therefore I ask all my all my colleagues regions to come up, look at the side and come up with a problem so we can work realistic for the region. And the third thing that we need is complementary because many of our member associates are running that. So idea of what we can see that what is how we can strengthen the education member association. That means that we are trying to complement the so we need to we have at the moment started with global and what I want to do is my vision is to regionalize in seven regions, seven regionalized programs and we can have 
education. We can, I can also say that we are also in dialogue with Harvard so that we can have some kind of courses that IDF Harvard courses be accredited by the Harvard. So if you, and in the, in the, uh, in the form of science, you also have, you have to think that IDF will take a new initiative guidelines in the light of new evidence. You know that IDF guidelines was actually uh, by, uh, by Professor Stephen Calagri, and uh, which, was, uh, which was actually made, uh, some, some improvements was made in 2017 by Dr. Shalkat. And, and so, so, but it is high that we revisit and we update. So I can tell you that, that we are already in the process and this uh, committee has already been formed and hope that we will be able to deliver this. I will ask my colleagues everywhere, particularly strong uh, countries, India, China, Brazil, some of the big countries who has a kind of a strong scientific to see that, okay, this is our idea, idea how we can make this idea of global guideline that how, whether we can, whether, how, if we need some kind of adjustment for our region. And I will be very open for that, so that we can have IDF, for example, South Asia guidelines, IDF Western Pacific guidelines. So, so that we have the main, the parent, the parent one, the parent guideline is there, but we are adjusting according to the. And this is this is very important. But at the, uh, my vision was to go uh, to have a kind of guideline which will be ethnic based, but we do not have enough evidence at the moment to go for ethnic based. This is what I will be suggesting that we have it, but this is going to have, we're going to have the best science and the best photo. And this will also be a kind of live guideline, which would be very easy to follow the live demonstration uh, in the guideline so that our GP, because we have to think that most of the people with diabetes will be treated by this. And we are, I'm also very much interested to fasting in Ramadan that, that I, I do not want to use the term Ramadan because the Ramadan is. Is, is a Muslim holiday, but all religions have something. The Muslims have fasting, the Hindus have the fasting, the Christians have the fasting, the Jews have the fasting, all religions, and we also have kind of non-religious. So, so I think that IDF and people of all faiths. So I moved out, and now I'm saying uh, we have created a group, and I'm happy to say that Dr. Bansi is also there, that we have to say that, for example, the fasting and diabetes, not Ramadan and diabetes, but fasting and Please emphasize this for next step. Not to mention Ramadan, must emphasize. The committee is already done, as I said that, and we hope that we will hold the guide. So strategically, if you look at that way, if you look at this in the middle, that you have idea. And then on the top, I'm putting because on the, the idea is nothing. We are a federation of the member. We didn't found the member. Member associations. So, the, so therefore, the ownership of belongs to the members. You know, listen. Uh, so, therefore, our member, we, as you know, that I have started a kind of guided dialogue meeting with all our members, and I have, I have already completed Africa, I have completed South um, South America, South America. So, I'm coming to South Asia. I'll be going to so my vision. I will be directly to Zoom meeting with all our member associations, time city two times in a year to all, all regions. I will have to go region by region so that we can talk, because the, when I was talking to them, they were saying that this is the first time they are interacting directly with the president, not through the, this and that. I think that should be, we are, we are not. The member association remains on the top. As you know that I'm also moving, moving this, our board meetings from, from, the, from, from our head office to we are going to all regions. The first board meeting that we had, this was in Cairo. Last month, this was in Cairo, in, in uh, March, it was in Cairo, the first board meeting. So next board meeting will be, in Af will be in Africa, but of course you can say that Egypt is also not that Egypt is within MENA. So therefore I'm putting this MENA, now we're going to Africa. I hope that we will be coming all, uh, to our regions. So this is the way that I'm thinking. That we must, we must strengthen the corporate partners. Corporate partners, because we are, IDF is seeing more and Israel even must see that how we can be more, uh, more uh, could be complementing or more relevant to our partners. International NGOs, and, uh, and I have already mentioned that how we are strengthening the WHO relationship. And my one of the most important things that I important that national governments, that if you look at the diabetes, diabetes is a problem of the national governments. Diabetes is not a problem of industry. 
diabetes is is a is a challenge of the national governments because the because it's the cost and the care it needs to be provided. If we stay outside it, as you know, that I have introduced a system that that any government, instead of blaming the government, trying to recognize the government who are doing a good work, will make one head of the state for two years as the global ambassador, idea of global ambassador. I'm, I have already, uh, as you know, that the Bangladesh Prime Minister Tina was the first. I had a meeting with um, with the Zimbabwean president last month. It was a very successful meeting. So I'm I'm willing. I'm stretching out my hand, also asking all my member associates facilitate the communication with the national government so that national national government become a partner of the idea and thereby a partner in the fight. We must strengthen science, and as I say, that how we are we are improving the RCP, we are improving in in terms of the guidance. So help us with this. And you said the spotlight for the biennium during my presidency. What we'll be fighting for? This is the spotlight that I will fight for global access, and this is the kind of fight I will never stop. And new and innovative partnership that we thought. We have to say that how it can be relevant. We need a dialogue. We need to see. We need to. We we cannot simply say that they simply come up with some kind of uh, support where in a partner where they, they see that their their job their their goals are actually if totally different. we must fight against this not discriminated we must fight and we must have a kind of closer cooperation with other international bodies like like who as i have said closer and ties with the member associates mentioned developing ties with the national governments i said that this is and the idea of global ambassadorship. So I'm also uh, at the transparent and democratic process, idea of which I hope, I'm, I think that I'm making it as transparent as possible and marking IDF as an authoritative voice in science, as this, for example, guidelines, GRCP. And please come and help us. You should always remember that you go, you can, that IDF is not your order. Today I'm the president, but tomorrow you can be the president. And therefore you must have ownership and we must be, we must be, working together. So so I think that the other thing that I, I must say that we are nowadays, we are very much focused on knowledge, which is true. But we must remember that the Nominal Communicable Disease Alliance was actually the idea of the founder member of it. The reason that we are trying to do political tool in order to draw the attention, the global attention on, for example, diabetes, but NCD is not a disease. This is, we have mm -hmm. diabetes is a diabetes. This is NCD. Cardiovascular disease. We must see. But if you see the, it's the progression that we have, the physiology of this, not, you see that we have to stop diabetes in order to stop. And this is our slogan. I think that you see our slogan that is the all diabetes. And the other, my last appeal to you that in every Congress that you make, you have a list of sponsorship, but you never recognize the people we con we 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 recognize the sponsors who are funding it the pharma company but where the money comes from the money comes from the people with diabetes and i am asking all my members including idf definitely that in all our programs us we must recognize that people with diabetes with these words i will say thank you and thank you for it